Welcome everybody and unboxing the Apple Watch Nike Edition. Okay. Open it right here. Oh yes. Check this out. Package. Very nice. Inside. The watch. The band. What comes first? Get the watch out. As the direction show. Designed by athletes for Apple and Nike. The blackout edition. Oh yes. Let's see what's in here. Directions. button does not come with a wall charger to buy your own this is the SE special edition next thing is the band up hmm. nice watch Getting it out. Out of the black band edition. Impressive. Let's put this on. Do you need to power this up? There it is. It's on now. Slide it in. Same thing on the top. Voila! Just put it the wrong way. Yes, that is possible. To let go of it, press on this button right here. Slide it. Switch it around. And guess what? Also wrong way. Amateur owl. Now it's stuck. Press on this thing. And on the side, flip it. Put this on. And now, 
You got this in. Next. We need to go ahead and program this on. But we got this to work. English, United States. Now open the watch app and start pairing. Now let's get started. Let's examine the SE edition or blackout version with the black band. Beautiful. Amazing. Apple Watch pairing. It's very important that you have an actual iPhone to do this. Otherwise, it's not going to let you do it at all. So this is a required for you. Doesn't matter which kind of an Apple phone that you're going to be using, specifically an iPhone. What you have to do is pretty much bring the iPhone right next to the actual watch. Just like that. Next thing you want to actually do, if the window doesn't actually show up, is the following. Press over here. Press on English, region, United States. And now it's going to have this option that says start pairing. And press on here. It's going to have this really interesting looking thing coming up. Now, if this doesn't actually automatically just brings this in, which is very possible for it to happen. You have to find the actual app over here and just type in watch. Right there. Press on the watch. It's going to bring it to the actual watch itself. It's checking for the update. Press on the watch. And next, press on power new watch right here. Now put this right next to this little hologram. Let's go ahead and do that. Right there. And we have to get the hologram right back in. Start pairing. There it is. iPhone up out of date. Press on update now. What it's going to do is update the phone and then it's going to start pairing everything up. So press on download and install. And this is pretty much it. So after you download, install all the stuff and agree to this, what you're going to be doing next is writing this. Go ahead and move all the data from your actual phone right into the watch itself and you're all set to start using it oh this is such a disappointment this phone is not iphone ready it's a six and up this is the 5 se obsolete what a shame this is my favorite phone and i cannot use this to pair my watch you would think that the se version will let you do this but in reality wise, the SE is a product failure, right out of the box itself. It just doesn't support a previous version of the phone, requiring you to upgrade to the more expensive, at least the 5, 6 version, not the 5. So, if you want to save extra money, it doesn't work. Although this phone has almost everything, you would need in a phone except minus the EKG machine and the oxygen meter, both of which you really don't actually need in most purposes. I'm just for that Apple decided, and I should have read the fine print, but you know, there's no reason for me to get this watch now. Because it requires me to spend an absolute amount of money updating a phone that still works perfectly well. So at the end, this watch becomes a useless gadget. 
not only you are required to have a phone, you're required to have a phone that is up and bigger than the 5 volts and it has to be a 6 and above. Because of it, and because the 5 is actually the ultimate phone in my opinion, it is the last one that Steve Jobs actually created, it is a masterpiece. The new SC is just not as good as this one. I just think that Apple makes a very bad, big mistake dissolving a huge population of people who love their products. So overall, I'm going to give this a thumbs down because, you know, it could have been a 10 star product. Instead, it gets two stars, maybe three. Why is that? Because what am I going to do with this thing if I can't even turn this on? Shame on you, Apple. This could have been my next favorite product. Unfortunately, it's to retire right back to the box where it came from. Thank you.